What's up internet? It's Raven, Raven Goddess, and I'm back with another hair tutorial. So today I'm starting off with freshly um, stretched hair. I probably stretched my hair out for about three days. So I, I took all the braids out of my hair and I put them in these two buns. I'm going to be showing you how to do these fire twists. So go ahead and get your detangling things, your brush, your comb, and your leave-in. So I'm going to be using some hair milk, some oil, some beeswax, and edge control. Now I'm going to show you two different ways on how you can achieve this style. The first is with this pre-fluffed hair that you can get from the beauty supply store. It's already sectioned out for you. And I'm going to also be using these leftover dreads. I'm going to show you how to do it with that as well. And for the color, I got this extension hair from Amazon. I'll go ahead and I'll put the link in the description box below. Get your hydration, your devices, your entertainment, because it's going to be a while before this style is finished. And also, bring your prayers. Pray for a good outcome. Pray for patience. Okay, so my hair is pretty much already detangled, so I'm going to go straight into my parting. Um, I preferably like to use a metal rat tail comb, but this is the only comb that I have right now, so we're going to work with it. I'm starting off with a part directly in the middle of my head, and this part takes a while. So I'm going to go ahead and part off my hair, section it off, and I will come back and show you the parts. Alright, so we're back and here are the parts uh, i made this u shape in the middle of my head powered it directly down the middle and made horizontal parts going across the back of my head so i'm going to take those horizontal parts put it in a ponytail to section it off we're just going to show you how to do this with the front of my head so we're going to put that in a ponytail and we're going to take the front section right and to do these parts, I am going for pyramids or triangles. Um, so I'm going to take my hair down. And at every intersection of the part, I'm going to make a, a diagonal part. So when you make this diagonal part, you're going to get a small little pyramid or triangle. It should look something like this. Okay. Go ahead and section off the rest of the hair that we're not using. Okay, so I'm going to grab the dreads first. I'm going to show you guys how you can make dreads into pre-fluffed hair uh, or Marley hair. So um, I'm going to take the dreads off. And by doing this, I'm going to grab it by the loop. And I'm just going to stretch the loop out until all the hair is separated. So it's going to look something like this. It looks very, very similar to my real hair. I didn't have any Marley hair, so that's why I'm using the pre-fluffed hair and the dread hair. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to moisturize your hair. I plan on keeping the style in my hair for at least three weeks, uh, three weeks to a month. So I'm going to be using the milk the beeswax, the oils, all the things, all of the things. But the thing that makes this the most smooth is going to be the edge control. It's going to give the style a very sleek look. So I'm going to use that um, as the very last product before I insert my extensions. So I'm going to take the um, pre-fluffed dread hair first. I'm going to make sure all those little curls are out of the bottom as well as making sure that the ends are even. Once the ends are even, you're going to want to part off the um, middle section of the triangle. So you just basically want to split it in half 
And once you split it in half, you're going to want to make a conscience decision on what hair or what side of that section is going to be the braid and which one is not. So I'm going to be choosing the top portion to be the braid. So I'm putting the Marley hair together as if I'm going to twist it, but that top section is actually going to be the braid. So I'm going to slip that into the middle and start off a knotless braid as if you're doing knotless braids you know I'm going to braid it three times no more than three times I find that it looks more natural this way and you actually can't see the braid um, once it's all together so I'm going to braid it one two three times and then after that third time I'm going to take that top section of um, what we started as the braid and I'm going to twist it big emphasis on twists because with these twists that roll of your finger actually makes it look very juicy very much um, rope like and I'm just going to continue that twist all the way down until the ends Once you've reached the end of your twist of the Marley hair, you're going to want to spread out the ends because we're going to be um, feeding in the extension hair. So this is the extension hair that I got from Amazon. Again, description will be in the description box below. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, unravel that, and I'm going to break off a piece. The best way... Um, to measure how much hair you need is to bend the hair that is in your head with the hair that you sectioned off and if they match they match girl go ahead and put that in there okay and then I'm going to take the ends since they are kind of blunt I'm just going to stretch them out so that they are tapered at the ends and I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same method that we did at the root of our hair to this method we're basically feeding it in as if it is a braid so I'm going to braid it no more than three times and then I'm going to roll my finger and twist all the way down So I will go ahead and I will tell you guys how to do this again but with the pre-fluffed hair. Okay, so I got this pre-fluffed hair from the beauty supply store. Okay, it already comes pretty much sectioned off for you. You don't have to unravel any hair or anything like that. Um, just try to get it as, you know, thick as the consistency of the dread hair. You want all the braids to be the same size. So go ahead and section off the other side of your hair so that it is a triangle. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my leave-ins. I'm using the hair milk, I'm using the oil, and I'm using beeswax as my leave-ins. Of course, your um, leave-ins could be totally different than mine, but please use edge control for each of the edges because the edge control actually makes it look very, very slick and very sleek. 
So I'm using the edge control last before I insert the extensions. Then I'm going to part it in half while making a conscious decision on which hair is going to be the braid hair and which hair is going to be twisted up into the twist. Okay, so I'm taking the pre-flipped hair, right? So the bottom section is already going to be in the twist. The top section is going to be the braid. So I'm going to go ahead and twist it so that it's almost like me doing a knotless braid and I'm going to continue on with a braid. I'm only going to braid it three times. This gives that top section of hair enough time to get to the other section of hair that doesn't have my hair in it. And then once I get to the other side of, you know, my hair with the pre-fluffed hair, I'm going to roll the hairs in between my fingers and start off the twist just like that. And I'm going to twist it all the way down and I'm going to emphasize that you must roll the hair in between your fingers when you twist it gives it a very juicy look to the twist it looks very natural here's a close-up of what I mean you gotta take the hairs in between your fingers you're going to roll them before you twist you want to do that all the way down once the hair is twisted all the way down, go ahead and take your extension hair, measure it out by taking your existing twist and rolling it over your fingers to make sure that the consistency is even. And then go ahead and do the exact same method. You're going to feed in the hair as if it's a braid. Only braid it in three times and then once um, the section of hair is even, go ahead and combine it roll it in between your fingers and twist Once you are finished with your twists, they're going to look like this. They're going to be super long. I'll go ahead and finish up the process for you so that we can save time. And this is my finished product. Wow. I really like them. Um, they are actually very, very light on my head and they actually reached down to my knees. So I couldn't fit it all the way inside of the screen. So this is what it looks like from my waist. Okay, I decided to wear these two pigtails. I wore this for about a week and a half, um, but here's what the parting looks like. Uh, like I said, that edge control is what makes it look the sleekest. It really defines out the parts and leaves your style in the most natural state. Here's what it looks like from the knees. It's very, very long. So if you guys think that you can handle this style, go ahead and try it out. I do recommend 10 out of 10. Um, top five, top five, top five. Okay, so this is the end of this fire twist tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Make sure that you give me a big thumbs up if you did like it. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and hit the post notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And leave some comments down below on what you guys want to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Where your fears and reality met Cause tonight I bet you won't need to cover Just let your loudest